Uh, is the game... Oh, it does. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, and the controller works too. Uh, where are my glasses? I can't read with my, without my glasses. Uh, hold on. But yeah, hopefully we can reach... Um... We can reach 300 uh, soon. If we reach 300, I'm probably just going to change the goal to 400 because I might as well. Like, I'm three away. It's stupid that I haven't reached it yet. Like, it is fucking retarded that I haven't reached this yet. There we go. Once upon a time, there was a gallant thief. The thief traveled the world, stealing one dazzling treasure after another. The thief's targets were always people who did evil things to amass more wealth. They always stole the treasures they, th they sought without fail, and never did the police catch them in the act. The thief would sell the treasures and distribute the money to the poor. In addition, enough. Shut up already. I'm tired of that stupid story. But doesn't he sound great? He could have all the money for himself, but he gives it to others. I don't care. I'll bet some people just see him as a gullible fool who'll give them money for nothing. That's pretty warped. Do you always have to be so contrary? You don't need to use your temper, Tio. Uh, a girl that was almost perfect for me and one who I had great chemistry with turned me down and said she wasn't interested in dating anyone. Oh, that's normal. I mean, that's not really like... You know, something that you should really be, like, too sad about. I mean, again, plenty of fish in the sea. Can you really say that living in a place like this? Where we could die any day, always hearing gunshots, shouting, screaming. There's no point putting your hopes in some storybook. So, what is it today? You know how things are going. Oh, let me listen to like how the audio is. Oh, and is it? Let me actually lower the volume. I don't. I don't really, uh, audio is fine, I think. I feel like it might be a bit too loud. And, like, too loud for me is, like, saying something. How about this? Hmm. Because it's speaking a lot. Hmm. Alright, let's try this. Oh, no, never mind, it's still speaking. Uh... I think this is good though. Sure, I'll, I'll keep it like this for now. Shouldn't be any big conflicts today, I think. Seems they took a pretty big beating yesterday too. Then time to secure some food. I'll be going out. Alone? Again? Didn't you get hurt yesterday, Jean? And Enos and Krill can't have full... Wait, and Enos and Krill can't have fully healed either. 
But brother, you... I'm fine. I'm not fanciful... Oh wait. I'm not fanciful storybook thief. But I can do enough to protect you all. Because we all carry the name Leon Hearts here. Theo seems really tired. Because he keeps insisting on doing everything himself. But maybe us slacking off is part of the reason. Hey, this gun doesn't have any bullets left. Huh? Whoa, it doesn't? No spares, right? Now what? Tio already left. Let's go. We're always depending on Tio for everything. But it's more dangerous than just getting food. Enos, you said they'd taken a major beating, didn't you? Don't tell me you're going to take one from there. Well, it's weird. Hold on. I can't find a good place for this damn mic. Well, it's where Tia always goes, and the guards are bozos. Hmm. Safety, failure, danger. Enos, what's that thing you're doing? Oh, I'm predicting the future. I'm a guy who can look back at the past. Well, I do think it'll be easier to steal one than usual. But are we talking about the gang? If we get caught, it'll seriously be bad news. Tio always does it himself. Hope us three can manage. Let's try not to get separated. Yeah. Alright, let's get going. Right, left, right. You having that much fun back yeah. You having that much fun back there? Yeah, braiding is fun. Um, right, left, right. Did I misread it? Probably. Hey, that was two rights in a row. You're not making a mess of it, are you? Ah. Can I start over? We're almost there. Hurry up. What's this town we're going to now? What game is this? This is uh, Light, episode 3. Uh, I played the first two episodes on my other endurance stream. It was like right at the very end. It was the last two games I played. I got a call from Ro Rosa uh, Feathers. Uh, said uh, said the. For fuck's sake, I can't read. I'm wearing glasses and I still can't fucking read for shit. Said there was this rich people party, but she didn't want to go and ask me to. But parties are fun. Does she not like them? She mentioned some kind of treasure thing, so the focus must be on that. Still, we can have some tasty food for three. For three? For free. Uh, or we can eat, then beat it. Um, so, Leo... There it is again. No Leo. Oh, how? Ricky? Claude? And you get mad whenever I call you Papa. Kinda want to stick to one. If you want a single name, I'll let you call I'll let you call me it when you're when we're alone, not in the town. If you promise For fuck's sake, I cannot Ugh. If you promise that, then you can call me Tio. Isn't that your real name? Tio? Tio Pants? Can I? Tio Pants? Yeah, sure. Just keep that promise. Got it. And I'd never lie. I promise, Tio. Alright. Now, we need to think of a name to use in the next town. What? So still a different name after all. The other name is only for when it's just us two. Mix it up and the deal's off. Why do you always need to change your name, Tio? Let's say I told a lie. 
What would the person who I lied to think? Uh, they feel bad. Right. My face, name, and all this other stuff would stick with them, and I, and they'd hate it. Just seeing that face, just hearing that name, would make them feel bad. If those bad things get big enough, they could bring harm to yourself or others. That's why I change my appearance and name and name at each town, so they won't feel bad. Why do I have a feeling that I will probably read better if I'm drunk? Should I just get a beer? Hold on, let me do that. <laughs> How kind of me, huh? Um, couldn't you just not be telling lies in the first place? What? You're thinking that much about it already? Is this part supposed to have no audio? Because I just realized there's no music. I assume there's not supposed to be any audio. Ah, it's too much bother. Effie, think of a good name. Huh? Oh! The one on that sign... The one on that sign... Sid... Sydney? I like that one. Why do I feel like... Maybe a little hard for you. Let's go with Sid. That's who I am in the next town. Okay, um, Sid. Oh, okay, so there was supposed to be no audio. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, did the game bug out? Okay, so what do we... So what do we know? Something something treasure party. Master of the place is Wilbur. It smells really nice. Wonder if it started. Let's check the Grand Hall. Oh, okay. This is the Grand Hall? Okay, let's not check the Grand Hall then. The silence forces absolute focus on dialogue. I guess. This way is off limits. You can't go up here. It just has to be. I mean, just a while ago. Huh? Whoa, what's this? Some silly glasses. Try these on, Effie. Okay. They're on. Red Marathon, let's go. Yeah. Might be my last stream, who really knows. I'm going to be lurking, gotta get ready to go somewhere. Yeah, sure. Have, a, have fun, whatever you're doing. Why are you looking away? Oh, uh, they suit you. I'm glad. Really? Hehe. <laughs> okay, you too, Sid. I'm fine, thanks. Why not? They could only ever suit you, Effie. I see. Alright. Um, so can I take these? Yeah, sure. Got funny glasses. Wait, we just took the fucking glasses. Uh, don't go that way either. <laughs> You're worrying me, guests. Uh. Okay, well, I guess, um, Pretty expensive stuff, isn't it? Delicious. I think he's most lively when he's boasting that when he's boasting that man is. Munch munch. I wonder if it's a good viewing. I yeah. I wonder if this is a good viewing spot. I need to read more often. <laughs> wonder where they got that. 
I wonder if the thief truly is going to show. Smells good. Delicious. Smells good. That's a ton of guards. I wonder how much the Auric Antique would sell for. Munch munch, okay. <laughs> Good evening. Oh, your face is unfamiliar to me. Ah, then you must be uh, the one whom Lady Rosalie invited. Indeed, it's an honor. Oh wait, it's an honor to meet you, Mr. Wilbur. Oh, I would be wonderfully pleased, merely to hear that you enjoyed the party. Incidentally, if you can spare the time, I'd like to make a small request. Yes, go ahead. There's a man helping me with, uh, with the party. An inventor by the name of Enos. He told me he wasn't feeling well, and went out some time ago. But has yet to return. Would you go look for him if you could? Enos. Yes, just leave it to me. Thank you, dearly. <laughs> Lore. Oh, okay, well. I guess not out that way. Oh. Ugh. I just can't handle being with so many strangers. Ah. Uh, um. Are you Mr. Enos? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You heard that, huh? N nervous. Deep breaths. Presence of mind. Breathe. Um, is there something on my face? No, no, sorry. You just look very pale. Are you okay? Uh, I'll be fine. I don't suppose Mr. Wilbur sent you. He did. He was worried. Yeah, he was worried about how long you were gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble him. The Phantom Thief is coming too, so I hope nothing bad happens. Phantom Thief? Yes, we received a warning. Something like, tonight at 10, I'm going to steal the Auric Antique. Would this happen to be the butterfly that Thief is in? Wait, no. Oh, fucking learn how to read. Would this happen to be the butterfly that Thief is in? That thief in the news? I don't know what I'm reading. Yes, that's right. I didn't think it really existed. I designed the security system for this mansion, so it's another of my pile of worries. Uh, you okay, mister? Uh, <laughs> maybe... Well, I'll be getting back to Mr. Wilbur now. A Fanta thief, huh? Is 10 pretty soon? I wonder what they're like. Sid? Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. We should go too. You look sort of pale. Just like when you ate that grass three days ago. Don't remind me. Ah, it's you. You're a great help for bringing him. Now we must wait for the thief. I worked hard to obtain this treasure, so I shall not hand it over so easily. <sighs> oh, thanks, Forelia. Quite a lot of guards, hmm? Yes, well, matches have their limits. Oh wait, machines have their limits, I... Let me get a beer.
can't find my bottle of it. Okay, I found it finally. Okay. Oh, fuck it, I'll just leave it there. It's been a while since I had a beer. This is uh, this has just turned into a drunk stream as well. Let me put this right here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. No, in my luck, it probably will. Ah. Uh. It's much safer to have people on watch as well. So you, so you said the thief would show up at 10. Yes, that's right. I have the warning here. The mark in the corner. It's the, it's the butterflies, all right. Are you sure this is real? It would be a sort of relief if it were all just a prank, wouldn't it? So what's a Fanta thief? Haven't you heard about them in the newspaper and on TV? Phantom Thief strikes again, that sort of thing. They send a warning to their target a day in advance, then steal an item. And the warning always has a butterfly mark on it. That's why they're known as the Phantom Thief Butterfly. Any corrections? No, that's right. They say the thief wears a butterfly mask as well. Just like the stylish thieves you see on TV and in stories, huh? It really is. Even the police are at a loss. But maybe it's to be expected. Their primary line of work seems to be fighting. Perhaps they are simply unaccustomed to dealing with slippery phantom thief types. Huh? That's amazing. Sid! What if you were a Fanta Thief too? <laughs> a Phantom Thief is still just a petty burglar. A heinous criminal. I would never. Huh? But Sid. Hey, Effie. You just got some bits of pastry in your mouth. How clumsy of you. <laughs> well, on the other hand, it seems the thief goes after corrupt politicians. But their acts are still those of a burglar. Oh, that's right. We're also asking for help of the police force. Hmm? But they don't do guard jobs, do they? Well, yes, but recently a new... We do now. Ah, there we are. Perhaps we could tell you... Sorry to keep you waiting. Iris Ashbury, Captain of the Police's Special Investigative Division at your service. Phew. Didn't stumble over a single word. Oh no, I did. Uh, so, uh... I'm sorry. Investigative Division? Yes, incidents have been increasing in number and growing more diverse as of late, so... 
While the unit headed by Captain Neil will focus on doing battle with dangerous criminals, the new investigative unit will focus on investigative matters. So, Mr. Captain and Vice Captain aren't here? That's right. But if a murder or something devastating happens, they certainly could be soon. Please don't joke. Not that it's funny at all. But that aside, I haven't seen any of the other members of your unit. Oh. Yes, uh, well, humans can fly, can they? Yes, it's impossible without some kind of assistance. Thus, walking humans are slower than flying dragons, surely. Your point being? They were going to be late, so I went ahead by myself. What? Uh, um... I mean, I suppose I also shouldn't have gotten the wrong di directions in the first place, but... It's alright if I catch a thief all by myself if I have to. E yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Why me? I ask myself that every day. So... What shall we do once we have the thief? Perhaps ask where the other treasures they stole are? What a lively girl. Even if it's to an extent which worries me. Miss... Iris, right? Yes, I'm Iris Ashbury. I'm Athena, and this is, uh, Sid. You're a dragon too, right? What abilities... What ability do you have? Oh, piqued your interest? Be amazed. I'm a dragon who can use her ability to use... To know anything about what I see. Which means... I'll give you a demonstration. Hold on a moment. Whoa. That face. Like a cat scaring off prey. Hey, that's rude. Okay, and now this is complete. The lady there, your name is Efina. 98 centimeters tall. And you're a dragon whose ability allows her to subsist on eating lies. Whoa, you got it all right. And the rude one besides her. And the rude one beside her, your name is Teobaldo Leonhartz. 170 centimeters tall, huh? That's a completely different name and attitude from what you just told me. You can even tell that. There's no end to you pests in the forest, is there? I'm kind of surprised too, considering what what a kid you are. How'd a puny brat like you become captain of, captain of a unit? Don't make fun of me. I've been alive for a whole nine years. A whole nine years? That's under half my age. Five, six, seven, eight... That sounds about 9 to me. Yeah. Teobaldo, a con artist who travels to many towns, changing his face and name every time. And three days ago, you ate Nemo grass. Grass? Just mistook it for some edible grass. It looked similar. But why? Why? You have money, yes? Be exact, six. Hey, quit it. Huh? So you do have money? You told me I couldn't get crepes because you didn't. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, bird brain, stop running your mouth about sensitive info. Bird brain? Me? You really have no manners. You like but Oh, fuck my head. You really have no manners, just like Vice Captain Brad said. Ugh, just go away, please. What is he saying about me? Right, um, he's a crook, arrogant, and a pedo. That kind of thing. Pedo? Not a fan of me, is he? I myself doubted such. Uh, I myself doubted such a horrible person could exist. But now I've seen him. 
and I've seen it and I've seen it's all true. Uh, I can't stand it. Go away already. An analyzing dragon. They really come in all kinds, don't they? Oh, it's almost 10. I guess I'll ask about the Auric Antique to pass the time. I wonder if Auric Antiques taste good. I don't think it's food. What? Did she really think that? Yeah. Should've talked to the other guy. Wah ha ha ha. Oh, is something the matter? No, I just wanted to uh, get a good look at this Auric Antique. Oh ho ho, is that right? Then allow me to tell you about it. Whoa, it's so gold and shiny. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It was created quite, a, quite some time ago. But it hardly feels like it's aged a day. Many legends are told here in Gold Town, with its countless countries of history. Wonder how much money this would fetch. How many donuts could you buy? Probably more than you could possibly eat in a single day. I could probably make- fuck. Are you changing jobs? No, I didn't say I would. Better to do what I enjoy. And here comes the climax. Without further ado, allow me to... Is that the bell? Ah, so it's 10 o'clock. But as of yet, nothing has... The lights! What's going on? Huh? Why is everybody stumbling? Oh right, it's pitch black for humans. Ow! Hey, I know that was you, Effie. Don't hit my butt, I know you're there. I just saw a figure. Is that them? Yeah. Th the treasure. Uh, oh, it's safe? So it is. Then... It just... Wait, so it is. Then was it just a sudden light failure? I did do a thorough inspection of them though. Is it the wiring? Hmm. Outage, wiring, inspection... Sid? Effie, did you smell a lie? Yeah, but it might be because of all the people here. And since it's small, I can't get it to take form. Enos, the man on the right, he, matter he muttered outage, wiring, inspection. But he never speak when, speaks when he's looking back on the past. He only mutters like that when he's trying to predict what will happen or what to do. How do you know that? I used to know him a little, that's all. But if a lie won't take form, does it mean he doesn't feel guilt about lying? Or maybe he's simply changed as time passed. Let's ask him. Are you okay? You still don't look well. <laughs> Sorry, but I found nothing wrong in inspection. So why? Outage, wiring, inspection. What did you do after your inspection? Um, once I'd done a regular check of the security system, I came right here. And you stayed here? No, I felt dizzy with all the people, so I left a bit to look out the to look out the window. As you should know. Sid. That was the first time you and I met, wasn't it? Excuse me. Well. Yes, was it not? Are you sure? Do you hate me? I should have no resentment towards anyone I just met, yes? Effie. Yeah. The treasure wasn't stolen. Does that mean the warning was a fake? Ah, 
That's almost disappointing. I saw a figure and tried to catch them, but I was covered with some kind of cloth. Then I, sun I got suddenly pushed, but the number of people in the room is the same. And the treasures haven't been stolen either. What does it mean? Okay, so they're all muttering. Oh, that's a ton of guards. <laughs> Guess they're all muttering. Oh wait, pretty expensive stuff, isn't that? <laughs> Two of them say the same thing. I need to remember to save more often. Uh, okay. I don't hate you. Lie. Hmm, what? Um, it just tastes a little different from usual. I wonder why. Does it now? Are you familiar with dragons? Yes, of course. They look similar to humans, but have abilities like some kind of magic. Right, this girl's a dragon whose ability can give lies form. So she can eat them. Essentially, we know you lied to us. That's really something. I'd heard about it, but it's much easier to grasp seeing it for yourself. But that's good. That it's roughly as I thought. If things were a little off, I would have to make some further adjustments. Who are you? You're not Anos. Huh? Part of my rudeness. It's about time I introduce myself. Huh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to meet you, if it's our first meeting. I have no name to go by, but I'm often called the butterfly, so you may call me that. It's you. Where's the real Mr. Enos? Oh, you don't need to worry, he is alive. Somewhere. But, let's not make this lengthy. No one wants that, do they? Yes. Let us end this at once. Yeah, what's that sound? I'll see you later, brother. The fuck? The, everyone's dead. <laughs> ah, the treasure. Hmm. H how can this be? My, my Arik. Everyone, please remain calm. No one has to leave this room until we've confirmed it's safe. Oh, my head hurts. Are you okay, Effie? This black mud stuff. Is it? Yeah, I think it's lies, but not in a solid form. I can't eat it like that. People have been taken over by formless lies before. But for all of it to be mud. So, that girl, she made that monster appear, and this muddy stuff? That's right, it's her ability, but it's never gone like this before. I'll analyze this. Do you think we can get out of here? If it blocks the entrance, we might not. Could you check for me? I need to keep an eye on the people here. Right. Let's go, Effie. Okay. Uh, are they still muttering? Oh, they don't even speak. It's a mess. Oh. Uh, 
Ugh. Let's actually look a little deeper, just because I kind of feel like it. Wrong way. Okay, never mind. The door's covered with the stuff. You think you could get it off? Nah, no way. When it's all sticky, I can't eat it. The windows are all mudded up too. Let's go back and tell her. The other members of the unit have arrived outside, but there's no way to get in. Hmm? We didn't see anywhere to get- oh wait, we didn't see anywhere to get out from the inside either. No way. I'll keep analyzing, but... Mr. Wilbur, are there any passages outside? Uh, yes. Y yes, that's right. The rooftop is open for the night. Oh, why? The rooftop. Roger that. I hate to ask this of you, but could you head to the rooftop? I'm the only member of the unit who can watch this area. Since this is an emergency, I'll try to call Captain Neil too. Do those monster things attack people? The small ones never have before, so it should be fine if any show up. But usually the monsters are hardly affected by any attacks of our own. Any attacks but our own. Be careful. I'll keep analyzing, and if I find any possible exit, I'll come tell you. We're counting on you. Don't get so disponent. You're about the only one with these... You're about the only one these people can count on. Right. Alright, rooftop, huh? Huh? What? Those stairs we just went up. It got sludged all over as or it got sludged all over already? Doesn't look like we can go back now. Well, to the rooftop it is. Oh we can Uh I I'm, I'm sorry, what? Gross. Yep. Wait, hold the fuck up, what? <laughs> A memo pad. Crumbled paper. Oh. A trash can. There's something here. Got chocolate cream puffs. Oh, hello. Trash can. Oh. I told you. Excuse me? But, but. What the heck? Still there. Fuck off. There's something here. A uh, serrated knife and small donut. Can I gift a serrated knife to... Knife does... Funny glasses, sure. I think I'll leave it like this. Ah, she doesn't wear the glasses, unfortunately. That would have been cool. A trash can.
trash can. There's something here. Strawberry caramels. Got big liar and dragon aura. I think that's something I can equip. Big liar. And dragon aura. Yo. Uh, I already checked this right. Yeah, that's where I got the big liar and dragon aura. It's mudded up. I don't think we can proceed. It's all sticky and goopy. But I think these lies are coming from a person. Maybe if we eat the source lie, we'll be able to go up. Hmm. Then let's look for that source. There's no way back. I'm guessing this is the source. Gross. Yep. But it's made of lies. I can smell it. Then, you think eating this could open up the way to the stairs? Even this one isn't fully formed. But I do think it's someone's lie. I think we need to bring out something that will solidify from the person who lied. Plus, this lie isn't cute at all. Well, I can sympathize with you this time. One of them. Like I said, isn't it you? You were flirting with the master in secret. Huh? On what basis is that? Surely she's guilty of that, I heard it. What are you saying? Don't falsely accuse me. Uh, um, let's not fight, okay? What's this now? You're sounding the most suspicious, don't you think? That's right. You prissy goody two-shoes. What? What a terrible thing to say. Prissy? And what's wrong with having both shoes? Um, excuse me. What? For your information, I do have legs, you know. That's right. I felt my ears were ringing terribly, and then all this happened. Now, as much as I want to scratch your face off, I can't, and it's so annoying. Uh, hello? Could you tell me anything about what happened? Uh, um... There's a rumor that one of the maids is a bit more friendly with the master. Er, Master Wilbur, uh, than is necessary. We got in an argument over who it was, but we can- we- but we can't tell. You're certain about this overly friendly maid? Y yes the rumor seems to spread even among the other servants. But it seems no one knows for sure who it is. But it has to be you, yes? N no way. I find it very suspicious how you keep saying that. That's true. You're always being so standoffish. No doubt you're up to this or that. What did you say? What do we do? If that maid is one of them, then one of, a, one of them is lying. That must mean that eyeball lie is from one of these maids. If we can't get guilt or regret, something like that, then maybe it'll take a, def a definite form. Let's go one by one, hearing what these four have to say. Uh, uh, I've been thinking there was something suspicious about this. But it's undeniable that it's one of these girls. Because we're the only ones who wear this kind of maid uniform. And everyone says that he saw a girl wearing this uniform. Calm down. Do you know what they were doing together? I don't know. I just heard that someone saw them. One of these four. I'll make a note of that. So awful. You didn't have to speak that harshly, did you? Hey now, don't cry. Tell us what you know. Okay. 
Um, I did see someone with the master once. She handed something to him. I think that's what she was doing. I think it was a... I think it was square and white. It was watching in secret, so... I was watch. Oh, wait. I was watching in secret, so... I don't really know what it was. No, that's plenty helpful. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're a good person, mister. Want to, um, talk later? No, that's quite alright. Yeah. Ow. What was that for, Effie? Nothing. Okay, no snack. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Something square and white. I'll note that. Why can't she just admit it was her already? Once we find out for sure, I'll slap her square in the cheek. Is getting more intimate with the ma with the master that necessary? Uh, that. Oh wait, is getting more intimate with the master than necessary that punishable a thing? Why yes, the master is like a personal bank account. If you're nice to him, um. <laughs> Given this, more and more people tried to use him to buy them expensive things. Thus, a few rules were established for the people employed here. Namely, we aren't to get too close to the master, nor make any requests for him. Personal bank account, yeah. Pretty much. Kinda wish I kinda wish I could use someone like that. I'm kind of in need. <laughs> I see. But if those rules are being broken, then That's right. One of them is secretly getting glittering jewels and other expensive things. Oh, and I can't stand it! Give me those jewels too! Thank you for your help. They made rules, hmm. Once the culprit is found, I'll tie her up, scratch her, kick her, and have her hanged. Have you seen your master and this maid together? No, I've only heard of it. Ah, but someone did tell me that she had she was a long-haired woman. A long-haired woman. Are there maids who are guys? I don't think that's relevant at the moment. Long hair, huh? Effie. Yeah, I know. There's definitely a lie. But it's still too muddled. Normally people have a uh, guilt that makes them appear as monsters. Yeah, that's right. There's always been evidence. Well, proof it was a lie. So we hear someone else's claim and confirm it with the liar. That's all it takes. You can make it take form if you know it's a lie, right? Oh, yeah. Even if a liar admits their lie, it still becomes a monster. Good. Then let's look around this floor. If we find proof that someone's telling a lie, we'll show it to them. I hate this kind of thing. I wish the fact I can see through the lies would be enough. How do you already know their lies, Sid? The people best at seeing through lies are usually the best at telling them. Well, whatever. Let's move. There are other things I'm curious about. Wait, square and white? A memo pad. Okay, guess it's not that. That's something square and white. Gross, yep. It's mudded up. Gloop. Okay, I guess they aren't like anything. 
It's undeniable it's one of these girls because we're the only ones who wear this kind of maid uniform. And everyone says they saw a girl wearing this uniform. She had something to him. I th think that's what she was doing. It, I think it was some, it was square and white. I was watching in secret, so I don't really know what it was. The master will buy people anything if they're nice to him. Given this, more and more people tried to use him to buy them expensive things. Thus, a few rules were established for the people employed here. Namely, we aren't to get too close to the master nor make any requests of him. And I saw myself, I only heard about it, but someone did tell me that she was a long haired woman. She has short hair, so she could be just covering her own ass. Crumbled paper. What's this? Hmm. It smells weird, and it's powdery. A medicine bag? Empty. Guess it was already used. It's square and white. One of the maids said that. Let's show her this. Oh. That worked, that worked well. I like how I checked, I, like when I checked the trash can earlier, that was in there before. Let's see if there's something else. Okay, no, I guess not. And I can't go here. I think I missed a trash can actually. Oh yeah, I missed two. Yeah, okay, never mind. Was it you? Yep. Show an item. Ah, that must be it. I see. It was a medicine bag. The master hasn't been feeling particularly well lately, so he's, um, been having medicine. And, uh, he has it before bed almost every day, I think. Who gives him the medicine? Um, the master specified he didn't want us to know. Specified the other maids can't know. Why? I'll keep looking for things to show the maids. It's probably in one of these trash cans. I keep forgetting there's an eye there. <laughs> Oh wait, never mind. Guess it's not uh What Something's on this crumbled piece of paper. Thank you again. I put it there as usual. This is some messy writing. Maybe that's why it was crumbled and tossed. Seems like the master was communicating with someone. Now, if we had the other person's message, that would be nice. Okay. Uh, I th think there should be like some crumpled piece of paper here. Not this. Not this. Not this. What's wrong? Oh, wait. Oh wait, what? Got legendary knife and legendary cookie. Amazing. Just... Okay, um... Sure. Cool. And... Legendary cookie. Sure. Alright. <laughs> trash can a trash can um okay never mind uh so i guess we have to like talk to the um one of the maids right and what items do we have uh 
The maid met with the master and gave him something white and square. Oh wait, never mind. That's nothing. No, that's not something I can... Can I show them something? Is that it? A table. It's locked. I wonder if the key got dropped somewhere or hidden. Yeah, it might not be too far from here. Okay, that's definitely something that has to do with this, this case. Oh, can't go like where there's clearly space. Apparently there's a key we have to find. Oh, uh, we'll buy anything they're nice to him. Son of the is one of these girls. Uh, only ones that wear this kind of maid uniform. Hold on, yeah? So, only for wear these maid uniforms. The maid, man of the master, and gave him wine and square. Uh, had long hair. Similar things have happened, so the servants have rules to limit uh, involvement with the master. The master is sickly as of late. He thus got medicine from a maid. Okay. Shit. Oh wow, it just straight up like follows like your every movement. That's cool. Really like that. Um, where the fuck? Oh. Okay, so get it. Woo. Here. It's a key. Wow, it was right there. Amazing. Oh, lots of maid outfits. Hey, check the pockets. You start from the right. Okay. Hmm. Found something. Whoa, look at it. Sparkly and big. This seems to be the only one. Well, let's take this uniform. Can I wear it? No. Aww. You can take a different one. Okay. Let's show it to that maid. Got maid uniforms. Okay, what is this, a jewel? Oh, maid uniform. There is a big gem in the pockets. Uh, the only ones who wear this kind of maid uniform. Show her, I guess. Maid uniform. What about that uniform? Whoa, what's this huge gem? Do you know who would have worn this uniform? Only two of us wear this size. The maid with the boob cut and the maid with the ponytail. The goody two shoes and I are one size smaller than that. Anything else you know? One of the servants said they took photos, but... The very next day, they suddenly stopped coming to work. And no one found the photos. Thank you very much. 
That narrows things down. If only we had the notes they were communicating with. I don't feel like this is going to end well. Uh, which one's the one with the boob cut? See, it was a medicine bag. This one's the one with the ponytail. And I don't know who the fuck this one is. I'm guessing this one is the one with the boob cut. I can't tell from their sprite. Okay. Behind the trash can. Trash can? Should we check all the trash cans? Alright. Well. I guess, uh... <laughs> I guess it just gave us the answer. Amazing. Now there's a bunch of trash cans here. Something's back here. Photos. Lots of them. Some kind of delivery going on. Uh, going on in this. That medicine. Can't see the face, though. There's a mark on the back of the maid's hand. The sleeve covers it a little. But it means you're in a gang. Gang? A group of ba yeah, a group of bad guys. Gangs tend to put some marks on their on their members' bodies. Yeah, back of the left hand is the most common one. This mark. There's even a photo uh, of handing over a note. Kind of small, but I got the antique. Leader says pay soon. Doing business with a gang. Uh, was that how he got that auric antique thing too? I see. This place is not close by, is it? Have you been here before? This may be a rich town, but right beside it are the poor slums. Sid? No, forget it. Let's just show these pictures to that maid. Which made? I don't says long hair. I think this one, because this one's the one that talks about the rules. Uh, photos. Photos. Do you see anything familiar in these photos? No, I don't. Wouldn't that make me the culprit? If, but wouldn't that make me the culprit if I did? So then. Would you show me the back of your left hand? Sure, I don't mind. Here you go. No mark. So that maid was lying. And the notes seen in this photo here. Could you possibly tell from the handwriting who wrote it? It's too small to tell. Maybe if you showed me the actual note I could... I see. Do you know anything about your master's sickness? Uh, I don't know the name or anything, but apparently it's a diff it's difficult to cure. I feel like he's not getting better at all. Rather, he's just getting worse. Worse, you say? Yes, all the employees are worried for him. You know for sure now, right? Yeah, let's show her these photos too. And I saw... What, do I show her the photos? No, I didn't. Must not be the right. I, I made, I made the, I misclicked. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I have to show her then. Because the other two don't have options. Show an item. Photos. Have you ever seen anything from these photos? No, I haven't. Then would you show me the back of your left hand? Alright. Huh? 
There's nothing. Oh, what is it? Could you please try to find the culprit instead of wasting time? Yes, I'm sorry to bother you. Any change in the lie? No, if the liar won't admit it, it's not going to take form. Then we need pop proper proof. Like a bag with Madison still in it, or the note in that photo. If we show her those, she's got to own up. I'll take another look at that room with the maid outfits. The room with the maid outfits? So, oh, hello. I'm Cyrus. You two. So you were on this floor. Captain Neil and Brett arrived. Arrived. And they're keeping the civilians under control downstairs. They got in? Yes, barely. Vice Captain Brett's ability found a gap to get through. But shortly afterwards, the group spread even further. It now seems impossible for anyone else to enter or exit. That's why I'm headed for the rooftop as well. Well, we're a bit stuck. Yes, that's worrying. Can you wait here a second? We'd like your help. Yes, certainly. If we find the medicine, we'll get Iris to identify it. This one was the made outfits, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Any suspicious crannies? Hmm. Oh, look. It's hard to tell, but I think this comes off. That's the same medicine bag we found in the trash can. Bingo. Let's see what investigator thinks of this. Is this medicine? Yes, we'd like you to tell us what kind. Piece of cake. I'll be done in a flash. Yeah. Wow, that face. Like a cat scaring... Didn't you say the exact same thing before? Never say it again. Ah, this is poison. Poison? Yes, but not a fast-acting one. It's the kind that slowly eats away at your body. And what would happen if you took this every day? This much once a day? I suppose you'd, you'd be quite weak after a month or so. After that, death would be high, highly probable within a week or less. Thanks, that's a big help. Can you proceed upward now? Well, probably, just give us a little time. Now for that note. Thank you again, pray here as usual. In that stack of notes? Not expecting much, but let's just check. Stack of notes. This. Stack of notes, what? Only we had the known that photo shows along with this one. Is it in a stack of notes? Not expecting much, but let's check. What stack of notes? Oh wait. These are all new sheets. Uh that note's not in there. Well, if we can't find it anywhere, then let's make it. Hmm? Listen, don't bother me. I'm concentrating. Phew. Well, I've never seen the actual note, but it looks just like the one in the photo. It's so small in the photo that it took me a while to copy it, but this should do. Whatever works, works. Let's go. Got exchange notes. Alright. So, I'm pretty sure she's the cul culprit. Hey, do you know the culprit yet? You've been asking us questions after question. Yes, I do. Let me explain in order. There is indeed a maid who is overly close with her master, 
frequently communicating with him. And that made his... Someone with the mark of a red spider tattooed on the back of her left hand. That tattoo being the symbol of a gang that bases itself in the slums near this town. Gang? Your master had connections with the gang. He did business with them. The leader of that gang will do anything for you if you can pay the money. Even the focus of this very party. I believe even the Auric Antique was obtained via the gang's help. The maiden question wears the same un uniform as you for. And you stated that only you for wear this design, correct? Y yes, that's right. The master has a uh, varied taste, so he has many different kinds of maid uniform. Tastes? In maids? Like cat ears? Weirdo. I see. Thank you for that info. Now, about these uniforms. A gem was found in the pocket of this uniform here. Going from its size, clearly it would be quite valuable. And in this note, which I believe the master wrote, Thank you again. I put it there as usual. Can you confirm that this is without a doubt the master's handwriting? Yes, I believe this curly elegant writing is indeed our master's. Eh? We can clearly sur surmise. We can clearly surmise it. Sur surmise. The fuck does that mean? Sure. We can clearly surmise it refers to a payment. He communicated with this maid and sent her payment. If the payment is the gem found inside of the uniform, perhaps we can connect the dots. Well, then who is this maid? Indeed, just tell us your conclusion. Well, only you four wore these uniforms. And only the ponytail and the bobcut maid. Oh, bobcut, I read boob. <laughs> only the ponytail and bobcut maids wear this size of it. Huh? It's not me, though. I'm not the culprit either. I mean, you didn't even find a tattoo on me, did you? Yes, but I did find this. Oh, is that the response to that note? That's right. The prior one was written by your master, but this one reads, I got the antique leader says payment soon. This is the reply of the maid he was talking to. We're down to two culprits. It should be easy to tell which wrote this, yes? Isn't this your writing? It, it most certainly is. This is yours, isn't it? Then, is there any doubt that you are the culprit? But the tattoo... Maybe I didn't mention you could always be hiding... Maybe I didn't mention... You could always be hiding it. With foundation or the like. Ugh. I have some cleansing cream in my pocket if you need it. Well, want us to try it? Oh, fine. It's me, so what? Stop howling like damn monkeys about this. He told me he disposed of everything, but he clearly didn't. He's just a monkey too, isn't he? Eh? Whoa, she looks scary. I don't give a crap about that soft-headed mohawk guy. Our leader's a million times more handsome. You guys have no taste. Wh what did you say? With the culprit exposed, there's one more thing. This is the medicine you were giving to your master. We found it to be poison. What's the meaning of this? Oh, that? The leader told me to, so I just gave it to Mohawk every day. Guess he's been late with payments lately. Can't complain about getting poisoned then, can you? You really are the gang sword, aren't you? I knew you were suspicious. You barely did cleaning or laundry, and even walked funny. 
Huh? Aren't you to blame for those stinky toilets? And always wearing the same clothes? They're really arguing. Well, getting involved with gangs never turns out well. But now that she admitted her lie, I can eat that monster. The, um, I one. Good luck with that. <laughs> Poor Effie. <laughs> Wrong door. Hello, motherfucker. Contain some sketchy stuff. All right, uh, and she has nothing. Amazing. Ugh, no! I never want to eat a, a lie like that again. You didn't eat it at all. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah, um, I just ate until I couldn't make any more goopy lies. And I don't want to eat any more. Uh, please. Here, I'll give you some sweets to clear the taste. Ooh, cream puffs. Oh, no, it still follows me. Gross. Yep. There's no way back. But there is a way up. Huh? What? Got all mudded up again? And no way back again! Just have to keep moving. Ah, we meet again. How are you faring, brother? You said that before. Why the hell? I don't have any siblings. I can't be your brother. Hmm? Have you really forgotten? Perhaps because I'm much more talkative than I once was. It certainly has been a long time. Perhaps this will jog your memory? Well, Theo? Your... Cyril. <laughs> so you do remember after all. Ah, and that's right. You seem to remember your brother Enos as well. Were you accomplices from the beginning? Well, well, who can say? It has nothing to do with you either way, brother. Traitor. You don't want to talk, do you? Fine by me. You there, Dragon Girl. Are you alright? It seems to be proving quite effective. Almost scary how well it works, I'd say. You mean, how I can't control my power? Yes. When we first met, do you recall that ringing? It was an ultrasonic wave with the stabilite destabilized what oh my god it was an ultrasonic wave which destabilized your power okay it's beer time it's drunk time <sighs> though it's a human at fault for the lie spreading so much were you not after the Arctic Antique, then? What benefit is it to you making her power unstable? It's true, I am a phantom thief. I do need to steal the treasure. Yet, yeah, this seems to be a fake. Couldn't you tell? Wealthy folks are so clueless in that regard. At any rate, the treasure was not the focus here. You asked me if I had a grudge against you. I know you, so I suppose you must already realize, Tio. 
Lying makes one succumb. Oh wait, lying makes one succumb to the lies, was it? Then, why not you, Brother Theo? Are you simply lying more to make the lies unclear? Lies on top of lies? You're just desperately hiding. I wouldn't be surprised to see it crumble soon enough. Don't worry, I'll help you with that. Oh my god! Well, that was easy, but Jesus Christ, that was damage. What? What's the gang? What? What's the gang need from the stomping ground of grounds of kids? Did you steal a gun? Speak up. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, didn't you get the wrong people? They didn't get the wrong people, did they? Crap. They found out about the things we stole before, too. What do we do? Wonder if they'll kill us. S stop it. Don't say that stuff, okay? But they're really mad. We're talking about going against the gang here. Then I'll talk with their leader. So you stay here for now. We're not gonna run. This is our turf, ain't it? There's nowhere to run. It was our mistake. We should... You don't need to come. Just wait here. Uh. Sid, are you... being taken by the lies? S Sid? Don't touch me. Listen, don't... Don't come any closer. How fragile. Well, it shouldn't be long now. Let's move this along, shall we? Huh? Where's Sid? I... I'm alone. Was he trying to keep me... Wait, was he trying to keep from being possessed all along? I'll protect him. I promised him that. I have to go save him. Eek! Ah, I'm scared. Zid. Is there a way to go back? No way back. Amazing. And I... I need to... I'm guessing you can't go up there. A mirror. A lock. Can I heal? Take a rest. Okay. Thank you. Give yourself to the shadows. Shadows? Fear not the blades. Blades? Ow! This is all spiky. I'd get pricked if I get... If I tried to punt... If I tried to push it. For C into the dark. For C? Can't see a thing. I can't go ahead here. I like how the music stopped. Paper, but it's blank. Hmm. At times it's like you. Oh, wait. At times like this, you burn it. Soak it in water. Turn it upside down. Hmm. Got blank note. Can't do anything with the lock. So I guess. Oh, wait. It's mudded up. Fuck off. It's mudded up. Can't go up. 
I thought it would like lead to a cutscene. Okay, um, I have every item still, so. Hmm. Eight one o eight. Let me write that in chat. Eight one o eight. Huh, I can see numbers on this paper in the mirror. 8108. Uh huh. Huh, guess that's not it. Did I? Alright, well. Guess that's not the, uh. Give yourself to the shadows. Yeah, boy, how you doing, guys? You're not the blades. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that the lock is backwards. Opened. She, this moron left it, like, showed it backwards. Whoa. It, it was made of lies. That surprised me. Okay. Fucking jump scare there, mate. Alright, sorry I'm late. Ah! Ah! Eek, sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Why did my first job have to be this one? Is, is this what they call exploration? This is the third floor, is it? Going up just one floor is rather time-consuming. Yes, that's just because our attacks do so little to the lumps of lies. Our abilities or dragons aren't well suited to dealing with them. Huh? The captains? Ah, the young lady. So you're here. I don't see your caretaker, though. He went away somewhere. And left you behind? Um... Oh, uh, not like that. Sid said I shouldn't get close to him, so he went away. I think so, um, don't get mad at Sid. Iris, can you tell where he is right now? Yes, sir. Wait just a moment. At any rate, are you alright? Even as we speak, those mud-like lies only continue to multiply. It must mean that you are continually using your power. I'm just kind of dizzy. Is that bad? Dragons may be made of sturdier stuff than humans, but they can still die. Except you. <laughs> You're the only exception. If they're stabbed enough times... If they're stabbed enough times, say, they'll die eventually. It's only our lifespans that are roughly double. Supposedly. That isn't quite definite either. But most importantly, you can die whenever you... you Expend too much of your power. Since you're still young, your capabilities are limited. Many child dragons end up losing their lives by running rampant and using too much power. Okay, sorry for the wait. He's in a passage, a floor above. But also, I sense the presence of some others up there too. Maybe it's the thief. She said. She made me lose control with ultrasonic summonic waves. 
Ultrasonic waves? Hmm. If it's the thief to blame, it's possible you can be brought back to normal. At any rate, our priority is to meet with this person. But this area is dangerous. It has more masses of lies moving around unpredictably. How did you get up here? For some time, the mud was too unstable to get through, but... The mud suddenly stopped moving, so Vice Captain Brett used this power to pass through. Well, there was this lie in the shape of a lock, and as soon as I opened it, Miss Iris showed up. I see. Perhaps if we break more of these lie locks, the mud in this area will also come to a halt. If there is anything we can do, we shall assist you. I think it should be best to leave at least two here. So pick one of us and go so pick one of us to go with you. If you want to change who accompanies you, we'll switch places. We'll be keeping watch on, th on things up above. Okay. Oh, okay. So all three are used for different things. So... Get yourself to the shadows. Okay. Get yourself to the shadows, it's you. Let's go together. Me, huh? Okay, got it. Let's go. Mr. Brett, can you move around here and there? In here? Yeah, there isn't much... There isn't much of that mud here, so I can use my ability to move around. I see. I'll bet Brett... I'll, uh, I'll let Brett move around and look for the lock. Oh. Okay. Uh, this is like Sabrina's gym in, like, in the Gen 1 games. Uh, this is gonna be pain. We'll get it eventually. Okay, maybe not. Fuck. Okay, it's definitely this. There we go. There's a trash can here too. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess it doesn't do anything. There's not. There's something here. Choco cream puffs. Found it. What now? Uh, well, it's got a form, so I can eat it. Seeing it again, it's a rather interesting ability. Really? I think your ability is way cooler, Mr. Brett. You think so? Well, I do think it's good to have an ability useful for battle. For battle? Yeah. The unit the captain and I lead specializes in fighting criminals. How does Mr. Captain fight? Decoy? Plain dead? The captain uses a large sword. It's hard to tell since he's so tall himself, but it's a very huge sword. Figured he'd have to learn something besides his ability. Most dragon abilities aren't actually suited to battle. Even if, like I said, mine is. Huh? Like how? Facing through object allows much freedom of movement, and I can use it on others too. So if a foe approaches, I can extend my shadow and sink right into it. And where do you go where you si when you sink? You want to know? 
No, um, that's okay. Anyway, it's not like we can go straight to battle. Until we're... Until we're certain we're facing a criminal, the captain says not to lay a finger on them. I can't fathom why. Just slice them up and be done with it. You really don't like humans, huh, Mr. Brett? No. You would never hate him, would you? Well, he might flick my head and refuse to play with me and lie like a ton. But there's still a whole lot to like about him too, so I'd never hate Sid. And I've gotten to go lot and I've gotten to go to lots of town and meet lots of ni of nice people. I see. Perhaps I'll be able to think that way too someday. Yeah, I'm with you all the way. Uh Okay. I'm pretty sure the next one is this. You're with Brett. I'll take his place. As you wish. Go for it, Captain. Fear not the blades. These statues have lots of um, blades on them. So my hand would get hurt if I tried to push them. Hmm. Then I'll push them instead. I can just grab on and push. I have... Hardly any perception of pain after all. Wait, I have hardly any perception of pain after all, so no need to worry. I'll leave it to Mr. Captain to push these then. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so how's chat doing? If there's even a chat. Which I doubt. Okay, I expected more of a puzzle, but I guess it's just walking a straight line. Hmm. Okay, well that was kind of disappointing. There's something here. Chocolate cream puffs. Found it. It's got a form so I can eat it. Young lady, have you grown somewhat? Eh? Have I? <laughs> Alright. To dragons, height is a sign of growing stronger. Have you been more attuned to the smell of lies? And had more of an appetite lately? Yeah, so someday I could be as tall as you, Mr. Captain. If you reach my height... You'd surely be towering above your caretaker. Oh, then I guess he couldn't carry me or give me piggyback rides anymore. Perhaps you should stay a bit shorter than him then. Mr. Captain, was your um, mom taller than you? The prior captain? I was shorter at first. With time, my power grew until I overtook her in height. And your ability is not dying, right? Yes, an, ab an ability that answered to her wish. The woman who birthed me, the former captain, said she wished that I'd always be with her. Because her job involved many dangerous criminals, naturally she lost many allies. She said she could feel respect and trust in others, but no more a lonely barrier surround her, sur surrounded her. But Miss Former Captain is gone now, isn't she? Yes, even though the Wisher is gone from this world, I have not lost my ability. Before she was laid to rest, she told me to take the reins of this force. Perhaps my abilities go on because these wor words served as a new wish for my from my master. Dragon's capabilities come from people's wishes. So, like, Mr. Brett's and stuff, too. Hmm. I never exactly asked him for details, so this is mere conjecture. Brett was filmed with a criminal organization that focused on slave trading. His wisher may have sought an ability to conduct kidnappings without being caught, perhaps. So even wishes like that can make dragons. 
Yes, it doesn't have much to do with the contents, surely. Dragons must simply be born in response to a powerful wish. What did Sid wish to make me? What did, what did Sid wish for to make me? So you want me to switch with Captain Neil? Understood. Stick together, you two. Say, what game is this? Anyhow, why are all those anime children surrounded by shadow tentacles? Well, they're not tentacles. Uh, it's more like mud. Um, and also, like, there's only, like, two children this, in this whole game. Um, so this is Light Eat, uh, episode three. I played the other two episodes in my other endurance stream. And, um, and, uh, basically, uh, FB over here, the, the, the second one, and, yeah, uh, she, uh, is a dragon that can, like, that can give life or, like, a form to lies, uh, and then she eats them. Essentially, she she can tell what lies are, and she like eats lies. That sounds very anime. Have you not been looking? <laughs> That's uh, that, that does sound very anime. It looks very anime too. And right now, she kind of like lost control of like her power, and everything is not in like a solid form. Is like all liquid. It's all dark and gloomy here. Aha! Uh -huh, I can handle this. It seems to be mud that weak enough. It seems to be mud that's weak enough to pass through if I analyze it. Okay, analyze it. I have Miss Iris analyze here. I can't see anything. It's all right. Leave this to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, now hold my hand. Whoa! I can see. While we're holding hands, you can share my vision. Now let's go. Actually, no, I am writing some stuff at the moment, so I will be largely inactive here, but keep on... Keep... Keeping on, I'll be all right. Okay, cool. There's something here. Chocolate cream puffs. Something here. Strawberry caramels. Found it. Well done. Is this one you can eat? Yeah. Time to eat. Okay. Mission complete. Yep. Hey, Miss Iris. Were you cared for by the police when you were a kid? Yes, that's right. So, do you hate humans? No. The one who raised me... He was an old man. He, we explored together and investigated unknown plants. He was a wonderful person. Huh? But if he was a good guy, then why did you end up... Why did you end up in police care? He was killed by a bad person. They kidnapped me and tried to sell me somewhere. Sorry to bring back bad memories. No, no, it's fine. Captain Neil and Vice Captain Brett saved me, so... Now I'm just so glad to be lending them a hand. The captains really are amazing. They really are. All the dragon children look up to him. Uh, them. I mean, Vice Captain Brett isn't quite so popular. Why? Well, Vice Captain Brett is... Um, the kids are scared of him. Like, he's from a horror movie. Horror? Beard? Does Mr. Brett not like children? Not so. I'm sure he loves them. He's just so kind. But it's because he suddenly appears from walls and floors. The kids get startled and you start and start crying, you see. When I was little, I got spooked and cried about 17 times. Oh, I see, that makes sense. 
But the two of them are still role models for uh, to us all. I need to strive to live up to them, up to them myself. Yeah, I'll try my best too. The lies stopped. We can go to the fourth floor. Let's catch up to Sid. Ah. What the? With the locks gone, it seems like the mud crumbled down all at once. I see. But as long as we can send this lady towards the stairs. Only the mud around us fell. So there will be nothing blocking her way from here. Then I'll carry you to the other side of my ability. But what about you guys? No need to worry about us. You're the only one who can save him, aren't you? Okay, I got it. Go ahead, Mr. Brett. Right. Stand still, right there. I gotta get going. You're in my way. Damn, she's a, be a beast. Wait for me. I'm coming for you. What are you planning, Captain Neil? They'll only regenerate if you attack. There's simply no end to them. Then let's leave them. No. Oh, then let's leave them no time to regenerate. Fighting is in your unit, Iris. So don't push yourself too hard. I can handle myself just fine. Hmm? Well, we can at least keep them at bay, I'm sure. Ugh. Damn it. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm Sid now. My, so you still haven't been fully overtaken. How long do you intend to struggle? Ah, I see. Too, too hard to even speak? And even she's bound to betray you, isn't she? Ah, how pitiable. I see. It's still there. Perhaps it's better for you to... Wait, I see it's I see it's still there. Perhaps it's better for you over there. Or maybe it's there as a warning to yourself. Well done. Keeping it hidden with your gloves and other such cheap tricks. This is the end. Huh? H hey! What did you just say? I'm joining that gang. Uh, hold on. Theo, didn't your parents... Didn't they die because of the wars that gang got into? Yeah. That's why we want to get revenge someday. Oh, so are you going to threaten them? Well, then we should... What's this? Money. With this much... You three can go live in the town nearby. I think he was asking what you're planning to do. How did you get so much money? I borrowed it from the gang. You can get this kind of money easily with them. But telling the three of us to go to another town, we can't just... Yeah, we're family, right? We're all Leonhards here. Tio, brother... Do you think money is more important than we are? Yeah, maybe I do. Get a grip, you idiots. You're not gonna make any money in a place like this. Enough being weighed down. Just take the money and get out of my sight. Why? W wait Hey!
Leonhardt's. We still carry that name now. After that, we were lucky enough to be taken into the care facility in this town. Once we had grown up, we began to get to work. Even if our work was little more than an imitation of that storybook. This staff that makes ultrasonic waves is really something Anos made. Is really something. Anos made it, you see. And it seems you've been busy yourself, Tio. It's alright. Now it'll all be over. I won't go so far as to destroy the world, but I can sink this whole area at least. It's all for the best. You hated everything about that town, didn't you? I'll even grant you revenge, as well as ours. So, how will it all end? I can't wait. What should I do? Effie. I don't really want to go in there. Is this my punishment for it all? I can smell Sid's lies. Fuck off. It's all mighted up. Sid? No. This just smells like lies. Yo, Effie, what are you up to? Come on, let's just, let's destroy this whole disgusting world with lies. Welcome, glad you could make it. Although, you're too late. He's different from before. Indeed. When lies overtake a person, they lose themselves. Isn't that right? My brother here piled on lies such piled on lies such that they became part of who he was. Even a even a young one like yourself can understand, surely. Weren't you always with him? I I have to get these off. I have to eat them. And how might you do that? You're already at your limits. I don't know if I can eat them if he's this far gone, but I... I forgot to heal Effie. Yikes. Well. Ow! This motherfucker just did like 5,000 damage. How much was that? <laughs> I need to look back on that. I... I can't. He's too strong. What's the matter? You're awfully cheery today, aren't you? Mess around too much, and I'm skipping over your snack today. That's him. The same as ever. The one I know. What a pitiful end. Fitting for my traitorous brother, I, I suppose. It's all over now. All of it. So long, Brother Tio. It's okay. It might take a while. But I'll get you back to normal. Okay, Tio? What was a dazzling, shiny town is now covered with a dark mud. It's still as murky as ever, overflowing all over the place. Maybe it's more than I can ever eat, but even then...
Someday, I'll get stronger so I can eat all of it. So until then... Oh shit, I got a bad ending. When did I last save? Fuck. Wait, how was I supposed to win that? Genuine question. Are you fucking kidding me? There we go. Well. Uh, guess I... Fuck, well. How exactly was I supposed to win? That motherfucker did like 5 million damage. Okay, so it needs to go backwards, so... There we go. Amazing. Great start. Fuck. There we go. All right, well, one more.
let's heal because who knows what's gonna happen Hey, yeah, shut up, shut up. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me save. Oh my god. I almost just loaded the, like, the save file that I was, that I... Yeah, he literally just one-shotted me. I- I can't. He's too strong. What's the matter? You're awfully cheery today, aren't you? No, that's still... This is still the same thing. No, I still... What am I supposed to do then? Because, like, he just one-shots me. I just, like, I can't leave. Item, no, skill, dragon eye, no, he still one shots me, what the fuck do I do? Hold on, uh, Hold on, let me... Shit. Hold on. Uh... This is it. Okay. I literally can't win. Am I missing something? Is that what happened? Or am I... Hold on. And never mind.
Hold on. Uh, hold on. Don't tell me I have to like grind on on the like on the little lies. All right, let's try it then. Gloop. It's all modded, so I can't eat this. Can you please do a little more damage than that? Effie, please do a little, more, a little bit more damage. Thank you. Oh wait, the maid uniform. What exactly do I do here? So I guess I just grind on on these little guys. I don't I have to grind on these twats. Oh, I knew this eye was there for something. Fuck, why did I save right here? Fuck. Ugh. You made an oopsie. Oh, I'm so mad. I don't even want to talk about this. That is infuriating. <laughs> Where's the damn bed? Okay. 
right now. Oh, he was way easier this time. Ugh, oh, that's annoying. I'm so mad. Oh wait, I was spamming A like it was like it was doing anything. Uh guess I gotta do this one, huh? This and no, it has to be this one. Fuck off. Okay, that wasn't too bad. One more. What the fuck did I just hear? I just heard like some. It sounded like someone like opened the door. I don't know. I don't think the mic picked it up, but I heard it again. What the? What the fuck is going on?
go. Let me go heal. This fucking bug on my screen, get away. Ah oh, shit. Well done. Uh, real quick. Hold on, yeah. Zero five. Fuck my damn ass. In shit life. Okay, save right here. Fuck this. Don't need. Don't even. Don't even attempt to make another fucking thing. So they are. God, I hate my fucking life. Oh, how much I want to die. Okay. I don't even want to go in there. No, no, you're going in there, you cunt. Uh, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess we didn't go ahead with plan B after all, huh? It would have been tons of fun. <laughs> no idea what the hell you're saying. And man, these are sturdy. Hey, Anos. Didn't Tia wear a green jacket? Ah, he doesn't look like he's in any condition to talk. Huh? I knew it. It's too awkward, so he ca so he's keeping silent. No, well, that could be part of the reason, but... Yeah, you're right. Y you guys, what are you doing? Whoa, are you okay? Yeah, are you? But I guess we did this to you, didn't we? After that day, we started living in this town. And now, um... I became an inventor. And Gene a pilot. And Cyril a phantom thief. Uh, the two of us help out. Who the two of us help out. Uh, I guess we weren't just raised to be good people. Looks like Tia's been... Swindling people out of their money himself. Do you remember that time? Do you care? I see. Well, look. If it's been a burden to you, Tio, I'm sorry. We really just hold you back. No. That's not what I meant when I said that. Is it now? Cyril told you, didn't she? That's how she feels now. No, for a long time. And I've thought a lot about that day myself. But, you know, I still believe in you, Tia. I'm sure Cyril must feel sort of a nagging feeling somewhere inside her. Proof is in our names. She never abandoned our connection as, Le as Leonhardt's. Yeah, none of us three have been... Wait, yeah, non none of us three have. We all still... We're all still Leonhardt's. Jesus Christ, I need to actually get my eyes checked more than just glasses. Yeah, kind of a lame name, thinking about it now, but I guess it was a spur of the moment. Yeah, sounds too much like you're trying to sound cool. Makes you hesitate a bit. 
Oh, that's right. Dio thought it up, didn't he? Never thought we'd get to talk about... Never thought we'd get to talk like this again. Sarah's on the rooftop. If you keep this up, she's going to finish you off there. If you want one, Tio, we could find a way out. No need. I need to go apologize to her. I see. Got it. Guess you never did stop pushing yourself, no matter what people said. We'll leave Cyril to you. Everything about that day, and everything after, all of it. I can smell Sid's lies. It's all matted up. But this looks different. Way different. Sid! Hmm? So you made it. But it's too late, I fear. I'm just about to finish up. Let us end this. Gah. I swear to God, if this gives us another bad ending, I will kill someone. Sid? No, it's not. This is the smell of lies. Was Sid taken by the lies? <laughs> That's right. But you know, it's not a big, di it's no big difference from before. Wouldn't you know, Effie? He's different. Let me switch your phone real quick. Indeed, when lies overtake a person, they lose themselves. Isn't that right? My brother here piled up lies such piled up on lies that they became part of who he was. Even a young one like yourself can understand, surely. Weren't you always with him? But he hasn't gone yet. So it's all right. He'll be all right. What are you going to do? I'm going to eat. Let's use hell. Oh, he missed. He can't do anything. He's weak. Yeah, where's your 5 million damage now, bitch? I couldn't eat them all. I see. I'm too weak. It's okay. I promise I'll protect you. Could this be? I'm sensing a huge outpouring of energy. It's that girl. It seems she intends to use every ounce of her power. No way. She's only been around for a year. Her tiny body won't be able to handle using that much power. She'll perish. Huh? I see. Then, this is the choice she has made. Effie? What the fuck? The stronger I get, the more I can use my power. The more pa- wait, the stronger I get, the more I use my power, the more I can grow. Hey, I promised you that I'd protect you, but I couldn't become strong, so this is how it ended up. You may have not listened, flicked my forehead, took away my snacks, and dragged me around. But we went so many places together met all these people and ate lots of lies. Without you, Sid, I'd be alone. I wouldn't have all these joys. So this one... So this one last time, I'll eat your lies, Sid. 
Because I'm sure this is what I was born for. But I'm also going to be selfish and break a promise. Hey. Don't flick my forehead too hard for this. Effie. Bye bye, Tio. I love you. What a foolish thing. Oh well. It's not what I planned for, but I suppose I've gotten revenge on my brother. <laughs> so long. Look at the time. Better hurry before it gets dark. It's so quiet. I couldn't protect anybody, again. What? I don't think that was the good ending. Well done. Uh, hold on. Let me quickly check uh, what I'm supposed to do. Wait, what? What exactly did I n not do in this scenario? This is actually the first light I got all of the, both of the bad endings. I didn't get in the last two. Hold on, let's do this again. Hold on. Shut up. Just shut up. Where's my beer? <sighs> Fucking... Uh. Even after all that happened, Cyril hasn't given up on Leonhardt's name either. Maybe there is some misunderstanding between us. I got your back. I really can't do anything, can I? Fucking- oh my god. We're to blame for doing all this too. Even after you sent us away from here to live- uh, Away from there to live some good, proper lives. I guess we're not just suited to being honest. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> uh. 
Um, I think I'm bad at doing everything after all of it. Can smell Sid's lies. So, Wait, what? Am I missing an item or something? I swear to God. Uh, feels like I've seen this game before. Oh, really? Uh, also... This is not... Right. Hold on. Uh So hold on, did I miss like an item or some shit? Look, if you did, yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Because I have no idea. Um, also, hi, Ocean Ninja. I, I forgot I was, I was too uh, focused on... I was too focused on... This shit. Hold on, yeah. Um, wait, it doesn't say how I get the fucking endings, I swear to god. <sighs> uh... 
Um, so this is the normal ending, apparently. With three. You must be level 12? What the fuck does that mean? Since when was level a important? Okay, well... Fucking amazing. Okay. Cool. Sure. Uh, how do I even check the level? Level 7. Oh my god. Well, we're grinding. What is this bullshit? <laughs> Level 12, my ass. Level 12, my ass cheeks. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Level 10, okay, we're close. Okay, I think that's level, level 11. Oh, for fuck's sake, Effie. Thank you. There we go. That level twelve. Okay, let's let's save because that is bullshit. That is on another level of dog shit. Um. Wait, actually, let me heal. Okay. Ugh, that is annoying. I'm so mad at that. That damage, Jesus Christ. Oh. Where's your five million damage now, bitch? Okay, there we go. Have I failed? Perhaps I underestimated the might of a dragon. Did? Sid, are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Effie. Ah, uh, you still look dizzy. Be careful. What? I have no intent of apologizing. Fine, because I'm the one who's going to apologize. Apologizing won't change a thing. Fine if it doesn't. I don't care if you keep hating me forever. I lied to you all. About joining the gang? No, I did join them. You saw the mark on my hand, didn't you? So then what? You lied about how money was more important than us? Because that's still true. You're tricking people to line your own pockets. Close, but not quite. I have to save money because I might die otherwise. What do you mean? I talked with the, leader, with the leader of the gang. Told them how we've been stealing from them. Thought they'd killed me. But they said if I could pay up, then they'd forgive everything we did. It was a pretty huge sum. They were asked. It was a pretty huge sum they were asking, of course. 
Don't tell me you joined the gang to pay it all yourself. Don't cut out everything. Don't cut out everything with a conclusion. Why didn't you tell us about this then? If I did, you wouldn't have left. I couldn't have asked you to come with me. I'd weigh you down. I'd have aided... I... I'd have aided nothing more than to take your freedom. So what about all that money you gave us? Sure, you couldn't have gotten a loan just after joining. Stitches. What's that wound on your side from? I wanted to give you guys money so you could get out of there right away. I joined the gang so I couldn't go there anymore. So I needed lots of money and I needed it right away. So I sold one of my kidneys for that money. What? I'd have to apologize to you for lying to you. For, for lying to you. It's practically impossible to escape from these people. If I told them I was going after, I was going out after paying the money, they'd beat the crap out of me. So I just found a chance and ran. If they found me, they'd probably kill me. Their leaders seem to have connections to some pretty high places too. So I needed to change my name and appearance as I moved, never staying long in one place. And for that, I need money. It was for us? Why did you... You never told us? What have I been doing all this time? What did I despise you for? Forget it. You can keep despising me. It's still true that I lied to you all. And as much as I've lied to all kinds of folks, I like to protect people. But things as dirty as lies can't be how you protect people. They're only used as messy means to cover up the things you want to hide. People leave you and hate you because you did that yourself. You reap what you sow. What? Huh? My power. This doesn't mean that I've forgiven you, brother. A, a helicopter? Someday, somewhere, I'll disgrace myself to see you again. Sure. Ugh, we're so high up. Can we, um, hold on so we can go or so we can go lower or nah? I told you not to look outside. Where am I supposed to look? I'm not sure where we'll meet again. Let me take one last look. Oh no, my vision is blurring. I can't see. Don't say that stuff in front of Cyril. Say ya, dear. Is it okay to leave things like that? Yeah. That's how they've chosen to live their lives. And this is how I've chosen to live mine. I see. <sighs> Roughest thing this whole year. What's the second worst? The weeds I ate three years, three days ago. Wow, that bad. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. My power got stable again, so I could clean up all the lies. That rich guy was really sad about losing his auric antites. I wonder if it, if it's okay not to tell him it was a fake anyway. Hey, hurry up, Effie. I'm closing the door. Huh? Hey, wait, Tio.
This is the final part of light. I wonder if there will ever be a part 4. I, I doubt it at this point, but who really knows. That good ending was bullshit, but I mean... We got it in the end. I'm finally able to eat your lies, Tio. So, I guess that means I win. I don't recall it being a competition. Um, so I was wondering something. What did you wish for that made me appear, Tio? The lies I told them. They would never go away, no matter how long it had been. Maybe that's when I made a wish that called for you. Are you going to keep lying? Yep. A con man wouldn't be able to do his job if he was if he went honest, now would he? Huh? All right, how about this? I won't lie to you ever again. Really? Yeah, promise. Then do you like me? Don't hate you. Ha 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 hee. Well, love you too, Tio. Do you now? Oh, that's so wholesome. That was a bullshit good ending, though. <laughs> okay, Sid, age 23. High 170 centimeters, skills lying, likes beer, money, women, and Effie. Dislikes annoyances. Well, since he likes beer, I'll drink to that. I need another bottle. I'll put this down here for now. A con artist. He tells lies like he breathe, like their breaths. He's gotten a little more gentle. Efina, age 11 months, appearance 5 years, height 98 centimeters, ability eating lies, likes Tio and sweets, dislikes 2 digit additions. A dragon girl who feeds on lies. Energetic and inquisitive, she's grown a little taller. Cyril, Cyril Leonhardt's, age 20, height 161 centimeters, skills disguises, likes family and suing, dislikes lies, phantom thief butterfly unmasked, the others influence her attitude and posture, but she's a woman, oh, yeah, but she's a woman, the others influenced her attitude and posture, but she's a woman, she has a grudge against Tio over his past actions. Jesus Christ, I cannot read. Enos Leonhardt's age 23, height 172 centimeters, skills development, likes inventing and naps, dislikes crowds and heights. One of Tio's former brothers, now a researcher slash inventor. Crowded or high up places can make him barf in five minutes. Jean Leonhardt, age 22, height 169 centimeters. I thought that was a three. Skills piloting, likes comics and games, dislikes swimming. One of Tio's former brothers now works as a pilot. It's easy to make him laugh. Neil Macefield, age around 100, appearance around 30. Height 198 centimeters, ability immortality, likes the world. People and dragons. Dislikes evil. Uh, an immortal dragon, he serves as the 
captain of the police force, slightly worried about getting swamped with work after dividing the units. Brett Graves, age around 17, appearance about the same. Uh, height 166 centimeters, abilities phasing through objects, likes dragons and reading, dislikes people. A young dragon of shadow, vice captain of the police force, kind to dragons but detests people. Recently gave, gained an appreciation for star viewing. Iris Ashbury, age around 9, appearance 15. Height 152 centimeters, ability at analyzing, likes her friends in the force, dislikes thinking. A Django who can analyze, captain of the a Django who can analyze, captain of the police's special investigative unit, full of energy but runs headfirst into far too many situations. Oh, and this is all of the. Um the soundtrack. This is all the cutscenes. Really well made cutscenes, I must say. This one makes that guy look like a villain, Jesus Christ. Turn to title screen, sure. And that was the game. That was in the entirety.
of light.